What I'm about to show you is one more level of customization. Now, it's not something you're supposed to do, but we can go ahead and fix Photoshop to get rid of all of those presets that we never use. Normally, when you hit New, you're presented with the New Document window. And we have a bunch of video presets. These presets first debuted in the last version of Photoshop. And fortunately, they've been improved. You'll see that we have presets for both NTSC and PAL in all of the common sizes. We've also added support for all of the high definition video formats, as well as several formats for film use. This is great. The only bad thing? They're at the bottom of the list. Let's go ahead and fix that. This file is actually a text file inside of the Photoshop application, and we need to modify it. In order to do this, we need to quit Photoshop. We're going to actually drill inside the application here. On a Mac, you do this by showing the package contents. I'm going to right click and choose to show the package contents. This is what's actually inside the Photoshop application. First, I'm presented with contents. I open that up, and then I go to required. Inside of here, I'll find a file called default new doc sizes .txt. Now, you can do a search for this on a Windows system as well, and you will find this file. I open that file up using a text editor. And we have a very large text document that gives a list of everything that's going to be seen. First, we have the default Photoshop size. You can leave that as is. All I'm going to do is scroll to the bottom of the list where the video sizes appear. I'm going to select those, highlight, choose cut. Come to the top of my list, right below default Photoshop size, place a hard return, and paste. This is the text file that Photoshop uses to create the new document presets. I simply close it right now. I'll relaunch Photoshop. And then, when we hit the new document, all of the video presets will be at the top of the list. Which I think is appropriate, considering Photoshop was invented by John and Thomas Knoll and is a direct offshoot of technology developed over at ILM. Photoshop has been a video program since day one. I think it's only right that the video presets appear at the top of the list. Choose New, and when I click in the preset area here, notice there's all of our video presets. Likewise, if you don't do a lot of work with NTSC because you're overseas, or you don't work with PAL, you might want to rearrange these and put all of the NTSC presets together. You can even remove the PAL presets if you don't work in that space. Anything you can do to cut down on Photoshop's confusion and simplify the program for your use.